Hey guys, I have another video for you. Um, right here, this is, uh, I just actually passed it. Maybe I should start my videos this way, honestly. All right, set submit. So this is the Scramblies problem on Code Wars. So we're just gonna go hop back in here. And it says, complete the function, scramble string one, string two, that returns true if a portion of string one characters can be arranged to match string two, otherwise return false. So basically, if string, if all of the letters in string two are somewhere present in string one, return false, other, or return true, otherwise return false. Uh, this one threw me for a loop for a bit. I initially came up with this code here. And uh, supposedly this was inefficient. I mean, just by looking over here, all right, we know we need to check what letters are in what. So we know we need to split them into arrays. So split them into arrays. That's what we did here. I guess I started off the wrong way with this video, but whatever. Uh, I threw a counter up here. And this was to keep track of whether or not what was in string two was in string one using this. So I did string two for each. So it's going to loop through the array created out of the second string. And if string one index of x, x being whatever the letter is in string two that it's looping through, is not equal to negative one. And the reason why I did this is when you're doing index of, it will either return the index if it's present, otherwise it returns negative one. So I'm saying if it returns an actual index, then the counter will go up one, and then it'll splice out whatever letter it just went through. So it's out of string one. So in the instance of, um, let's say, none of these are really good examples of it. Um, it's hard for me to give an example. Oh, here, commas, that's a good one. So, like, let's say that for commas, that this only had one M. The splice would go through and take out that M, so when it got to the next M, it wouldn't come back as true, it wouldn't add one to the counter, thus making it false. So this is initially what I had done, and this was too slow, uh, pinged out or whatever, and I even came on Stack Overflow and put it in here and said, you know, I'm passing, but it's saying it's too slow, to which I got no helpful replies, just told to get off of here, put it somewhere else, and sucks to suck. I have never, ever had one question answered by Stack Overflow. I was pretty annoyed, just wanted to say that. I've posted like three or four questions when I actually needed help, and they've never answered my questions. They just like give me crap, and then delete my post. So it's a nice resource to go to when there's already something there. Never been able to post on it. Anyway, so I tried asking for help. That didn't work. So I was just sitting here and I was like, and I even sit here, like I know I could put these into objects with letter counts and then find some way to compare values. I didn't see how it would be faster. Uh, but this guy was telling me that index of and splice will both take time according to the position of the string they're operating on that I ignored. But So he was saying that index and splice were the things that were taking the most time. So I was like, cool. Let me try to figure out how to do this with objects. So although that code works, it is too slow. And so we're going to start off here. Just wanted to show you guys that to show that you will try and fail even with the right solutions. So obviously we're starting off with this function here. All right, so we still are going to follow the same approach, and that's that we need both of these to be arrays. And then I still have a counter feature just to take care of checking how many of the characters are correct, which makes my checking at the end to see whether it's true or false easier. Maybe we don't need it, I don't know. Then I created two objects, since we're going to take these arrays and throw them into objects. And then these are all the same, uh, these two 
little loop things I did here, but I did a four loop. I guess I could have done four each. Um, doesn't really matter. But I did, you know, standard four loop involving string two's length. So I did string two first because that's what I want to check against. It doesn't matter which or order they're in at all. And then if object two, string two i is undefined, make its value one. Otherwise, plus it uh, equals one, so it'll make it two if there's multiple. And then I wrote a second one of those for string one. So now we have two objects with all the letters from each array in there independently with their own values. And now the final part is just to see if all the letters from string two are actually in string one. So to do that, we're gonna to wanna to loop through one and see what the value for each letter in one is as compared to what's in two. That way we're not looping through all the useless letters in object two. And that's pretty much how I saw it. So we're gonna go for const key and object two. Uh, this is just how you loop through objects. You do const, you can name this whatever you want, and then you put in and the object you wanna do it to. So in case this is confusing to anyone, it's a for loop, for objects. And key can be anything you wanna call it. It could be property, it could be whatever. So I did the for loop through the object, then I did if object one's key is greater than or equal to objects two, or object two's key, then counter plus equals object two's key. So, do, do, do. let's say it was stake, right? It'll go ahead and loop through stake because this is the second object, and it'll go s. So the first key is going to be s. And then it goes object one key, so object one s. And the value is going to be one, because when the key gets returned, it won't return s. It'll return the value of the key. So although s is getting passed in, it's the value one, since it's being called here. So this is going to come back as one. And it's asking if one is greater than or equal to object two's key. So we see in stake we have, so here was the S from the uh, first object. The second object is the stake. So stake, the, there's obviously one S, so they're both one, so that's true. So then counter plus equal object two key. So this means that it's gonna equal one. Now, let's say we were dealing with JavaScript, right? There's two A's. So when we check two, right, because we're throwing A in here, and then object one's value of A is two A's. Two greater than or equal to, also two, counter plus equals two. And then, I hope that was clear enough for you guys. Then all we do is return counter is equal to string dot length true false. I know there's probably a better way to write this. Um, that's what that other guy on on uh, Stack Overflow was saying, but I tried other ways and it kept messing with my code, so I just left it like this. So all the counter is is the number of letters that matched. So for stake, there's you know five letters here. If counter is five and it's the same as the count here, which is five, then it's true. Because for instance, this is only gonna end up being four. And that's completely how that works. I hope it was clear enough. I know it's kind of weird looking at things the way they are, but that's how you solve it, or that's how I solved it. And while we're here, let's look at some other solutions.
So this guy split it, reduced it, and then made a function. I don't understand what he did, but it worked. I don't know what any of this is. So you see, like, there's definitely easier ways to do it, but I don't know what 90% of this is. Like, I don't know what hash tab is. And so there's some other, other things here. But yeah, the code can be shorter, but it seems like it involves a higher level of understanding than what I know. This dude's looks crazy. See that? So that's wild. So at least I can say I was better than that. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Oh, and by the way, look at this. So, we are halfway. I don't know how to say that Q or whatever, Q, U, or I, I don't know, I'm not Japanese. We are halfway to getting to 5Q. Look at that. Perfect. So, we're chugging along, guys, almost there, and hopefully we can get up into Master. All right, take care. Have a great day.